currently down here at Aero Flight Training Coventry, where a lot of you will know that I did my uh, CPL and multi engine instrument rating. Uh, so it's really nice to be back, but I'm not with Aero's today, I'm here with uh, Guy Westgate. Um, Guy, what are we doing today? Uh, you're flying the uh, Vigilant again, okay. but a Vigilant <laughs> with a difference. <laughs> so it's a brand new Rotax powered uh, Vigilant, um, but it's got not just a Rotax engine, but also an amazing uh, new constant speed BP prop. And the performance increase is remarkable. I remember on the uh, Grobman Affluit uh, back in the day, it was uh, not an overly powerful engine and it had uh, the ability to change the prop between fine and coarse pitch. But it was done by a lever at a certain speed, and I don't I think I ever actually did it. Um, what have you seen performance wise across the envelope with the VP prop? Well, the huge advantage is that um, genuinely the engine now is 99 horsepower rated at max continuous um, RPM. Um, the original Vigilant engine, the book said 80 horsepower, I think, but it was probably a little bit less than that. So there's a 20%, 15-20% increase in power, um, probably more like 30% increase in power, but because of the VP prop, it's available across the whole flight envelope. So you get a real surge on takeoff and you've got the top end cruise performance as well. That's you, awesome. You're in love with it. So this is the first and only um, uh, aeroplane with a new Rotax at the moment uh -huh. uh, and the production aeroplanes are just about to roll off the production line, the first two, one going to a client uh, and one going to Aerobility and that'll be in the next, next month or so. Fantastic. And are they going to be able to upgrade the old Vigilant to put the engine in? Is it an idea to recertify them? Yeah, so um, the, store, the back story of why the REF um, had to get rid of the Vigilant is obviously a long one, um, uh, which we may not go into now. In, in, into now. Um, but Aerobility are, through Grob are selling the re-engined Vigilant as the Grob Able. Okay. Um, and soon existing Grob owners will be able to buy a kit to re-engine their aeroplanes and they'll be marketed as a Grob 109B plus. So plus meaning the Rotax engine. Awesome, more power, plus yeah. better overall. Yeah. Um, and you said that Aerobility are the first customer um, of the aircraft. Just tell a little bit about Aerobility and, and what they're all about. Aerobility are the uh, disabled flying charity. Aerobility really exists to, ch to, to change lives through the magic of flight. They rather than looking about what people can't do, they just focus on what they can do. So it's all about ability and hence the the name of the new aeroplane as the Grob 109 Able yeah, as well, awesome. so it's quite nice. Um, so Mike Miller-Smith um, knew that the uh, Vigilance had been, uh, been mothballed, um, largely through um, paperwork and regulatory um, concerns with the REF. Um, there was a distinct risk, I think, um, that they might just be, um, uh, the REF might dig a big hole and push them all into a big hole and cover yeah. it over and forget about it. Um, so he entered the bidding process um, with several other um, big players. And I understand that um, Mike threw Aerobility's bid was the only one which was credible to get as many airframes back flying as they could um, and with a mission to try and um, spread the love further and, and, and actually change more lives by making the airplane available to more people um, moving forward. No magnetos. Um, the engine is controlled by two channels of ECUs. The ECUs take quite a lot of power. Normally that power comes from a, an engine driven generator, um, but before the engine is running we don't have that power. So to start it we have to tie in the aircraft battery uh, on this momentary switch. Okay. So that switch up, the aircraft battery is tied into the ECUs then we can start it. Because we need power to run the ECUs, if we get a generator failure, we can tie the same battery in for 30 minutes oh, okay, with that switch, and that will then give us 30 minutes of battery-powered ECU engine running time, uh, which then should be enough time to then find an airfield to land at an emergency. And if uh, after that 30 minutes the engine stops? Yes. There are three alternators, so you'd hope that <laughs> it's impossible that all three should fail. Yeah. But if all three should fail, then that is the ultimate backup. You can tie the battery to power the ECUs for 30 minutes. Cool. So to start it, it's actually incredibly straightforward. We turn both fuel, one fuel pump on, we turn both ECUs on, battery, unusually the avionics, yeah, because that, that brings up the 
uh, the uh, digital engine instruments. Yeah, that's we crack the throttle. I'm going to just uh, guard the tow brakes, so clear prop. So I'm going to momentary power the tie the aircraft battery to the ECUs and hit the start. When I first saw this in the aeroplane, I thought, what a complete overkill. <laughs> but in the modern training context, every student who buys anything more than a 152 is going to be flying glass or yeah. more. So why not have it in a basic trainer to learn? Um, distraction management's a big thing, I think, with glass screens, because there's so much information there. You actually need to know how to have a, a robust scan yeah, to exactly. get the information out quickly and easily. Everything's in one place. It's just, it's just awesome. One large track could be data overload, but um, yeah. you know, you've, you've got to be taught how to use these, I suppose. And also, um, that, that can't break. Whereas the traditional engine instruments on the Grob were notoriously unreliable. Yeah, yeah. One of the, the moving meters to be to, to have failed, and then the whole unit has to be replaced. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm now in love with everything: the engine, the propeller, uh -huh. and now the G3X as well. Uh, it's got um, ADS-B uh, in as well through the Garmin. Oh so wow! Yeah, so that'll come up. Yeah. So it goes to the traffic page on here. Yeah. So we've got two controls for the engine now. We've got a, so prop lever and throttle. Um, so the prop lever at the moment is against its fine stop. Um, That's all the way forwards. So, so we've commanded it in that position about 5,500 RPM, but at the moment we're way less than that because it, the prop has hit its fine stop. It can't go any finer to bring the RPM up with the throttle we've got. Copy. After takeoff, when we're safely away climbing, you can bring the prop back to 5,500 with max continuous. It's got a vernier. You can unlock the vernier by pressing the, uh, the button in and then you can move it. Happy. Um, the throttle is shown here in inches of manifold pressure. Um, if the prop lever is more than 97% of its movement, as sensed at the, um, uh, the butterfly valve, yep. uh, then it goes into, because it's digitally mapped, it goes into a super rich mode for takeoff okay. to help cool the engine with excess fuel. So 97% and less, it goes into an eco mode, and the only way of telling with this at Garmin 3X is the eco Okay, cool. Just there. So when we're away safely climbing, bring the RPM back to 5,500 on the vernier, and then bring the throttle back. And I put a black mark there to indicate where the throttle needs to be to hit eco mode. Got it. And you're only looking for eco mode pin up there. Happy. So and then, oh, come on, sorry. Part brake set right now. So I'd like you to release the part brake. So steering is normally with the rudders. If you want to do a tight turn, then you'll need to use the differential brake as well. Happy. Happy. You have control. Um, I'll do as a 118 then. Talk to nobody because commentary is closed today. Yeah, that is super reactive. Oh, it's coming back to me. Good, good, good. Cool, Alpha Hotel Foxtrot, taxi at quarter point kilo for my Yeah, and it's a castering tail, isn't it? Yeah, it's semi castering, so if you're running in a straight line, it will semi lock. So it takes a little bit of the squirrelling away. We've got quite a strong wind, so yeah, you will so find that in, when you're going against a crosswind, it will constantly want to weathercock into wind. Probably. I, um, I don't like taxiing with riding the brakes. Yep. I'd rather that you just gave, gave the brake a jab. an impulse, uh, a jab, constantly, rather than uh, riding the brakes. Cool. Right, we'll taxi to Bravo. Um, short backtrack, probably. We're not well to fair. We could easily go for Bravo. Um, Again, yep. Uh, so Come to traffic, Delta, Kilo, Remy, Oscar, X-ray, taxi to hold, Bravo 1 via Bravo. Okay, taxi light is on, we'll clear left and right, there is one other chap, taxi now, but we'll be ahead of him. Yeah, you can definitely feel the wind on the tail, can't you? You can. Uh, the power checks will take just a moment. Cool, I'll bring so us just left of the centre line. Magic, we're and in, then in the greens already with the temperatures. I'll nibble ever so slightly into wind, but I don't think we need to hugely. Be conscious of the size of the wings, though, you know. Yeah, I know. Almost 18 metres. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect, though. And then uh, just hold static RPM, just for... So. 4,000 RPM here first. 
Perfect. Now three cycles of prop and bring it back just until you hear the prop, the noise change and then straight back in again. That's it, perfect. There's three of those. What you're doing there is putting warm oil into the hub. Lovely. And now when you cycle through fuel pump, is the engine still running? Yes, it is. Second fuel pump off. One ECU. We make sure that the bike check's been completed and light goes out. Next ECU. And light's gone out. And now a slow running check, and that's us. Cool. We're still 14 volts and back into the green. Lovely. Cool. Um, departure brief then will enter here. We don't need to backtrack. Any problems with full rotation, let's bring the power to idle, smoothly apply the brake in, bring to stop on the runway and discuss uh, why we stopped. Any problems after rotation with sufficient runway remaining uh, look to be landing ahead. Uh, within the sufficient runway remaining, the wind is slightly from the right. We'll look to select a field. In that instance, uh, I'll hand control over to you and we'll carry out a PFL accordingly. Um, any other issues on departure, we'll just uh, stay frosty to it and take from there. Okay, Pro slight change of brief about who, who's flying it. Go on then. So I'm happy for you to fly any problem until such time as I say I have control. Copy, that's fine. So assume that if your hands are on the controls, you keep flying it until such time as I say. Sweet. Um, best glide, are we going to go for... 60. 60 uh, knots, uh, it's knots on this. Um, so, um, best approach speed, uh, we are at max takeoff weight right now, um, is yellow triangle. Copy. Uh, if all goes well, then we'll just do a left turn, route to Daventry Water, uh, climb up to about 2,000 feet. Okay, cool. Um, let's just talk about lifting the tail. Okay. So, um, we can not lift the tail and just lift from this attitude, but doing so means we'll lift off at minimum speed. Okay. I'd rather you brought the tail up a tiny bit and we'll lift off in that attitude. Copy. That means it'll be two or three knots Copy. faster and we'll have more control um, at lift off. Happy. Um, I can have my hand just in front of the stick, just stop you from over rotating. Yes. I want you to only lift the tail to a level attitude. Happy. Okay. Cool. Alpha, Hangar 7, Taxi, Bravo 1, runway 23, Coventry traffic. Coventry traffic, Delta, Kilo, Remy, Oscar, X-ray, entering runway 23 via Bravo 1. Okay, approach, we'll look clear in a sec, come on tailwheel. Okay, Brooks looks clear, transponder's coming to altitude. Yep. All the lights are on. They are. And the Peter Heat is not fitted. Before you power up on the runway, make sure we are pointing and rolling straight. Copy. Let's do one or two metres before you apply power. I'll still a little left and then right. Delta off track three, departing runway two three. Right. Just roll forward a bit. Just roll forward. Make sure that tailwheel straight before you start. Yeah, magic. Now you can go. Okay, power is set. As speeds alive. Good teeth and peas. Yeah, your bike suddenly. Well done. Perfect. Just hold it there. That's lovely. Really nice. Accelerate to sixty. That's lovely. I haven't flown one for years. Well, a lot more power than you used to. Yeah. A lot more power. Yes. That's it, so uh, back to 5,500 or just less. That's then. Oh, another half twist. Just go below 5.5. Five. <laughs> Uh, and bring the throttle back until you can see Eco on the map. Okay. Tiny bit more there. Yep, you're there. The plane looks parts of that. Okay. So now we're matched to your power. Top right here, final two, three. 
They're amazingly smooth, aren't they, with uh, with the Rotax engines and stuff. It's, it's a much different feel to before. Are you happy to leave the circuit into the south here, or do we need to go downwind and leave it from? No, you can just go straight out south. Quite a bit of upper wind, 2 3 at 13 at the moment. Common traffic Delta, Oscar, X ray, Group 109 with departing the circuit to south routing, down through water. Well, that's brilliant. Or Drake Hot Water. Right, well, down. Drake, I can't remember. Some water. Yeah. Do we have to not climb about one and a half until we're clear yeah, of the Birmingham uh, zone there? Don't on, would it? Uh, got it's literally just this line here. Yeah. Alpha one. That's like there's no one joining. Oh, getting to Lake Erie. Yeah, he's not. Uh, this is up here, so a, a dry cop in climb. Or a vacated golf place here. Golf Bravo, Alpha, Hotel Fox shot. But she's actually quite quick, isn't she? Yeah, so let's maintain 1,500 or 1,400 now. And uh, lift there. So keep it at that continuous power. So bring up to 27 inches. More power, same more power. Yeah, she's on. And you should, we should be able to maintain, well, we're descending very slightly, so just bring us back to level. And she should sit at 105 knots, quite happily. Yeah, that's quite mind, quick. Isn't bear in mind, we are at max takeoff weight right now. That's pretty remarkable, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so it's a bit south of here, we're cleared up again. I mean, the visibility's coming back to me, you can see. Absolutely everything. Obviously, you've got thousands of hours in uh, 109, haven't you, from doing... Hundreds, not thousands. <laughs> Yeah, you can definitely feel the um, river. Right, so in this section we're cleared up to uh, four or five, so climb up to sort of three and then uh, do a bit of manoeuvring. Just give you maximum continuous. Right. Another half an inch of manifold pressure. Half the end's good. Call for other Alpha Hotel Fox Strike is lined up and taken off uh, runway 23. Charlie 1. You've already got full pass set, so you need to do nothing with the RPM or throttle. You can just pitch up for a climb when you want to. Cool. What do you like to sort of cruise climb at about 80? Uh, no, 60. So you, you 60. Leave, you, you're already full power. So uh, 60 knots is best climb. Cool. I'm sure you spotted it. The uh, knots of it is on the inside scale. Yeah. Yeah. Right a bit around here, like usual. Yeah, yeah. Traffic Golf, November, Alpha, entry in Bravo 1, Bachelor Echo, Commentary Traffic. To go. Might be in an airliner in there. So, why don't you do some lookout turns, and we'll go straight into the falling package. Copy. Lanes on the lake, look, the, uh, there's a sea lanes uh, oh, yeah. in wind direction. We're fairly strong for them to be shown. I'm happy we're all clear. Air clear for quick haze and height fishing for recovery. Airframe, uh, we are clean if it's up. Security, no loose articles. Engine, we've got good T's and P's. Uh, we are in the fine pitch to manoeuvre. Uh, location, we're clear of airfield, built areas, control airspace. Um, danger areas, we're limited to four or five above us. Probably the two in turn, t class is clear, but he was transiting. Yeah, yeah, so east. we're not quite in fine pitch, we're just in, um, oh, we're demanding... That's competing okay, okay, cool. Let's turn into wind. Oh, we'll keep, keep over the lake. And when you reach levels, you can slowly bring the throttle closed. Roger. We're all doing 60 knots, so just approach the stall at the classic one knot a minute, one knot a second. What I'd like you to do, Ben, is hold it See if you can hold it in the proper mushing stall. Okay. So go way past a normal point you'd recover. That's 700 feet behind us, tracking away. Okay, maintain level well at 2.5.
His nose a little. His nose a little bit more. Hold it there on the horizon now. Stay back, stay back. Any rudder, hold, stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. Stay back. Out, stop, hold stop. it, hold it, hold it, stick back, stay back. Yeah, it's keep, keep wing drop was scaring me. Yeah, yeah we're, we're trying to control the wing drop with yeah, rudder we'll and with aileron. See if you can hold it in the mushing stall. Will do. Keep it, stay back, keep it, stay back, 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 stay back. Did that by the... Oh, come yeah. on, don't recover so early. <laughs> Just something to say. <laughs> okay, one more go. Try and, try and control the wing drop with rudder and with aileron. Yeah, the wing seems to... Absolutely, I thought it was just a mass of the wings, isn't it? It just seems to just go... Right, third time lucky. Yep. Height and position are still good. You might need some big control inputs to stop the wing drop. That's it, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it doesn't want to do that, does it? You no. really abuse it. Okay, so now I'd like to, to come to full power. And we'll do a climbing right hand turn looking out as we do so. Okay. Full left hand turn. Yeah, we'll go I'm going to give you full RPM now as well, so you've now got full power. And we'll do a complete turn. Do another hazel check as we turn around into wind. Okay. This time I want you to do a full power stall, so I want you to leave the throttle full throttle, leave the RPM full RPM, and I want you to just experience the uh, handling. It'll be quite a ridiculously exaggerated nose high pitch attitude, uh, but it's as controllable with full power, if not slightly more controllable than in a stall you've just done. Probably, so height is sufficient for recovery, entry and we are good TVP, full power is fat, location was still. Clear of airfields, built by risk control, airspace and danger areas, and we've just done a nice look out. Yep. So let's just do another 180 degrees, so we're back into wind. We should almost be able to hover, I think, with the wind speed, what it is. Yeah. It seems strong and low down, it's showing nearly 30 on this. So, rolling level there. And bring the nose up. Bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more, and you just hold it there. Should I mush it again or recover yeah, it the first absolutely. time? No, no, you should be able to hold it into a really deep bucket now. Yeah, you may feel need a lot of right. increasing right rudder, I would think. Hey, fair, we've got quite a bit so in there. Stick back, stick back, stick back. That's on the rudder stop. Yeah, we're still climbing. Look, keep stick back, just still front hold it. I want to see the Vario start to shake and show a descent, so we're still climbing like hell at the moment. Oh, stick back, stick back, stick back. That's it, stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back. Yeah, it's kind of going there. <laughs> and recover. Caution, sink rate. Can I go? Yeah, you have to try. We'll just turn back in the wind again. I think the secret is to just catch, uh, try yeah. and, try and uh, manage the yaw as we slow down and just keep the wind. We've got airspace on the nose. Yeah, I've got another phone repeat. Oh, oh yeah, got it. <laughs> it is quite um You have a troll, you're a good troll. So let's bring the I'll bring the RPM back and that's continuous. And on, back to the left. you can now come into a steep turn. So we're back to eco, back to max continuous power. So the theory says if you hit 60 degrees angle of bank, you should hit 2G. So if you just touch the top left hand corner. Is overhead thousand, two thousand feet. Uh, you've got a G meter there now. Lovely. Okay, all clear. That's the right. Yeah, all good. Well done. Managed attitude beautifully there. Really nice. Not quite 60, not quite 60. One and a half G. 1.6, 1.2. That's 2 G. There you go. And try and coordinate a uh, max control deflation turn reversal to the left. The picture looks quite different over the nose to the left. Yeah, much lower. And that speaks to 2G again, really nice. 100 feet, I'm cheating.
Oh yeah. Okay. Let's um let's explore um, the go round handling. Okay. Um, so uh, you'll know from your glider flying that you've done in the last few months. Uh, in glider mode, you'll be flying right stick left air brake. But to go round, you need to change mode back to power mode, left stick, right throttle. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's turn into wind again. And you can slowly bring the throttle back to idle. Uh, I like to simulate a, a final approach speed of 70 knots and set up a full air brake descent and then practice going round. Okay. So the way of doing this safely then is to just think about flying this aeroplane in two completely distinctly different modes. Yeah. One mode is power mode, one mode is power mode, one mode is glider mode. What that means is if ever you've got the air brake out, your hand should be on the air brake lever. Got it. If ever you want to change power from throttle idle, your hand should be on the throttle. Cool, that was at 70 knots. Yeah, so, so I'm at idle, hand on the left. So you can bring, to, uh, bring the uh, air brake back, full air brakes and just get stabilised in that descent profile. I'm going to put the RPM to full. The go round performance is so good, you can go round with uh, maximum continuous 5.5 five set, but for this exercise we'll go round with, uh, with full RPM. Um, and let's go round. We're going to smoothly close the air brakes, change hands, and now smoothly so you've got the speed already, 60 knots, you can slowly pitch up to climb altitude. Very nice. The secret is not to rush. Yeah, it takes time. The second you put the air brakes in, you're now a 1 in 28 glider. Yeah, where? Well, you don't need to rush. Really nice, really smooth. Because of the hydraulically controlled BP prop, again, you've almost got carefree handling. Yeah. Combined with the water-cooled heads, air-cooled cylinders, you've got no risk of uh, shock cooling or shock heating the engine as well. So now we're safely planning, you can bring the RPM back to that continuous and bring a throttle back to eco. Really nice. It, it is just lovely to fly. I mean, it, it feels completely different to what I remember with the 109, which felt more, a bit more agricultural, really. The way I describe and it. And how are you finding the throttle handling? Yeah, easy. It, yeah, just, I wouldn't say you don't have to think about it, yeah. there's still a bit of learning involved, but... Just for the exercise, then what, descend 1,500 feet uh, at, eight, at 80 knots and then maintain 80 knots when level. Probably. Probably a nice thing to play to join our wide downwind. Come on, slow down. Well, you'll need to take quite a lot of power off if you want to uh, lose 10 knots and descend. And you've got a w one way of descending very quickly in the motor glider. For the old air brake. Yeah. But I need to change the, my mindset when I go to air brake mode. <laughs> so let's, in that case, let's actually describe something else. So if you look under the nylon block on your left, yep. the black lever, just move that black lever forwards and that swings out that nylon block. Oh yeah, got it. That will now capture the air brake in a half air brake position. So you can okay. fly as a pad aeroplane and now stay in power mode for the whole descent. What we'd like to do actually is just explore the go round potential in that mode. So, sure. so lock it, lock the air brake out to half. Oh, I'm at idle then. Swapping hands. Yep. That is locked to half. And now fly level at 60 knots. We're descending very quickly right now. So fly level, so you'll need a lot of power for that. Oh, okay, sorry. Going back there's to the uh, speed. So all the power coming on now, I'll give you full RPM. So with the air brakes locked out at half, and there's a lot of air brake out there, yeah. we are just maintaining levels. So to climb, you'll need to come back to a little, little less than 60. But do bear in mind, we are at max takeoff weight right now. Yeah, I've probably got my all power going there, to be honest with you. So if you want to go around with the air brakes in that configuration, you can just climb, just about. but you really get the air brakes away yeah. quite quickly to actually achieve a proper go round and climb. Getting all the way back nearly to VX there, aren't we? So go ahead and slow the air brakes, right? Um, they, uh, they're a very stiff uh, forward push. It's more of a uh, knock it forward rather than just push it. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> There you go. Well done. I think actually that's set a bit too firm. Yeah, that was quite hard. Yeah. So we don't get caught out, that's it. Slow the, slow the catch. And power back to yep. back to continuous. Perfect. And back to eco with the throttle.
Happy job. So let's do two uh, completely different circuits. Let's do a power circuit with the air brake set like that. Okay. Uh, and then we'll climb back up to uh, a higher circuit and we'll do a true glide circuit by turning the engine off, engine off completely. If you want to. <laughs> Absolutely. We're, yeah. we're in a motor glider. <laughs> yeah, so we're doing that with Jordan actually. That brings us a bit further south then. Do we have to be below 1,500 to enter the zone? Yeah, if I'm filming this stuff here, it's 3,000. So let's descend back down to 1,500 and go back to circuit. So we'll go, well, we'll go 1,300 feet, come to circuit altitude. She is frightened, isn't she? It isn't a slow aircraft anymore. On the way back, just have a go at a few max control deflection turns from left to right, as long as we're below the A, so just slow up to the uh, green arc, maybe okay. 90 knots. Yeah, yeah. Below. yeah, bring the power up to maybe 20 inches. I go just above the A. Yeah, and just go full control to the left, to the right, and just get an assessment of how much rudder you need as well. So it's a, it's a, it's a significant pressure of rudder, isn't it? And it's you that much on. But you bounce that beautifully. Full slap in the middle, that's wonderful. I think you had a feel on the rudder there, to be honest, I was cheating. <laughs> no, 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 Traffic, Delta Kilo, Remy Oscar, Axe Ray, Corp 109, coming here for Drake Up Water, 1,300 feet, route to join left base, runway 23. Caution, terrain. Yeah, we see it. Uh, okay, recovery then, so we'll join left base, um, on to final, um, transition down to 70 knots for the approach. Uh, yeah, so the um, yellow, yellow triangle means recommended approach speed at max takeoff weight or max all up weight, which is what we are right now. I'm suggesting we approach 10 knots faster just because of the wind. Coventry, traffic, all seven, Alpha overhead, rugby, and if you route into Coombe Lake for a long mile concentrate. Delta Oscar X-ray, four miles to the south to join left base from way two three. Oh uh, right, toes are clear the brakes and undercarriage is fixed. Mixture we don't have. Um, fuel pumps are on prop for come full forward. Uh, so we can do it now, can't we? Um, it doesn't, a bit have, later. Does, doesn't have to actually, yeah, because five thousand five hundred is more than sufficient to cool. go around. Um, and how are we apply this approach? As a powered airplane, um, with the brakes locked or as a glider? Powered? So I've never ever turned the engine yeah. off in the 109, so... Uh, well, no, it, it, it'll always be powered, but yeah. uh, either throttle idle or... Oh yeah, or idle with air brake is how I used to do it in Air Cadets. Okay, so, so, so let's, do the, let's do the standard approach you've done with the Air Cadets. Okay. In which case, the go round is without the air brakes, because you can close the air brakes, so um, mass continuous is more than sufficient to go round. Probably. Common traffic, Delta Oscar at 3. Scrub 109 joining left base from way 23, touching there. Okay, approach is looking clear. Uh, bump pitch action uh, controls, uh, not correction, uh, carpet we don't have, action harnesses, we're all tight and I'll start, slow us yeah. down, all good. Let's just talk about the um, management of the uh, stopping and then the subsequent going on the ground. That's when you're most likely to get unstabilised. So, I'd like you to bring it to an almost to a halt until you're guaranteed under control. Copy. And then think about stowing the brakes, changing hands, changing modes back to power mode. Uh, and then take off. So it's a very deliberate change of mode. Taxi for Bravo One. Air approach looks clear. I don't see anyone on the final approach. Bumps it, eh? Yeah. Air approach is looking clear. Mark effective. Glide profile, then fly at the glider. So you want to be significantly above the standard three degree slope. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm used to coming in here in the Arrow and DA42. Yeah. Common traffic, Delta off scratch way, turning final runway 23, touch again. The air brakes are very good. They're not spoilers, as you don't get in some motor gliders, they're air brakes. Yeah, when I flew the Fault for Jordan, it was a spoiler. Yeah, they're very effective. Two drake off for a left base jet, uh, left base joint, and to land. Okay, looking a bit more glider in air. Yeah. Both start to bring the power back. And assess if you're under shooting or overshooting before you touch the air brakes. Yeah, you can bring the power back to I'd say currently shooting slightly. I'll release the air brake in anticipation for using it. And I'm aiming just in front of the threshold. Okay. on the end of the air brake, so I don't want you to land, so reduce the air brake very slightly, just hold it there and just pay that all the way to the landing now. That's it, hold it, hold it, hold it, beautiful. And when you're under control, close the air brakes. Air brake closed. Hands, and let's power up. Say it again. Lovely, that's perfect. Really nice. She is lovely to fly. Yeah, this is awesome. Thank you very much for the opportunity. It's really it's bringing it all back from the Airconet days, but in a, in a really modern, nice environment. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so max continuous RPM is set. Bring so now back to we're going to climb to a, a glide circuit and turn the engine off. Are ready for departure, just wondering where the um, November Alpha is. Well, so I'm happy for you to land a little, land out a little deeper. Okay. Give yourself a, a no really big undershoot. Cracking uh, Golf, uh, Mike Sierra, backtracking runway 23. So let me manage the engine. Okay. Um, I Once the engine's off, I'll pre arm it, so ready for a quick start if we need it. Happy. Let's turn this over so slightly more. Ah, uh, it's a here now. Oh no, sorry guys. So much traffic, this is Golf off the Victor Mike Charlie, overhead Drake on water, routing for a left base joint. Yeah, it's getting quite strong. Ah, uh, golf mic here is roll. Putting us in, that was a fine. Are we getting 1,500? Uh, 13 circuit height, so I've kept it a bit tighter in. Uh, too late. I would Gonna go up a bit more. Yeah, I'll keep it even tighter than that. Copy. Go 13. Copy traffic, Delta thrust correct rate, downwind, left hand runway 2-3, glide approach to land. Okay, it's your engine controls. So bring the power back a bit. Yeah, so bring the speed right back to 60 from we. Go throttle idle. Okay, there's one joining from Dallas Train, uh, Drake, I'm sorry, should be. Okay, we'll keep an eye out. We're going to have priority because we're going to be a glider now. <laughs> yes, yes, we are. See the blades feathering? Yeah, yeah that's all. Traffic, golf right here. We're going to make this a right hand departure, avoiding the inbound traffic. I turn in now, turn in now. Got the traffic. Delta off correct range, final 2 3, glide approach. 
Both sent a tick. Cross number half, I would be sure with you. I'll just slow down, there you go. Cheers. Okay, glider motor, hands on the left. Okay, approach is looking clear, that guy's holding for us. Chat yeah, turning out to the north. I'll restart the engine on the ground. Okay. Do you think you're high now? You can take a bit of a break now. Speed's good, attitude's good, it's all good. 500. Okay, doesn't it make the one way? Passing on the uh, right hand downwind for uh, and runway 23. Visual, coming traffic off the number. Oh, yeah, waving at you. I've got much traffic off the uh, We'll be going around. Keep it coming down, keep it coming down. That's lovely. Yeah, slightly high. Just judging the height, isn't it? So the blades are going back to fine pitch. Can't really start the engine, both your pumps are on. Common traffic has gone off of it. My Charlie is now left base to land. Well, that was absolutely awesome, I love that. That was a really special opportunity, thank you very much. The electric variable pitch propellers I've flown in motor gliders take a long time for the blades to uh, go to feather. Yeah. Uh, as you've seen, this is pretty quick. Straight away, yeah. And reassuringly, it's even faster going back to fine pitch. Yeah, yeah. To restart the yeah it's amazing I clearly turned on. Common traffic, Delta Ross Rex, raised vacated 2 3 at Bravo. Thanks, I'll back on. Yeah, that was awesome. I can see why you like it. Are you going to be sad when you have to take it back? <laughs> How many hours have you done it since, in, in it since it's been over here? Oh, about 30. Oh, that's mega. Cover traffic, go for number alpha is crosswind. I'll be conservative. You do get used to the size of the wings, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah. I said they're big, but not that big. I've been a bit conservative. That's so. fine. Yeah, yes, that's fine. Okay, shut down. Part brake is on. Do you need to keep it at idle for a certain amount nope. of time, or? So you can just bring it back to the end, bottom of the green arc. We've got off the bit of Charlie is now final to last.